My name is Matt Adler. Uh, I am a musician from San Antonio, Texas. I've been doing this, well, I've been playing guitar since I was eight, uh, writing songs that weren't very good since age 14, and writing much better songs since about 20. I've always known that I was supposed to do music as a living. Um, you know, I've had nine to fives and stuff in the past, but I knew that I was called to do music. And, and uh, I, I guess I was just surrounded by music as a child, you know? I mean, my dad was an avid listener, still is. Um, and he's got, you know, collections of thousands of CDs and hundreds of records. And would always, you know, when we'd take these road trips as I was a kid, he would make these mixtapes and surround me with just awesome music that, that a lot of people my age just would have no way of knowing. Uh, you know, he played guitar and he sang a little bit, you know, as he was growing up, but you know, he was never a professional musician, but he was definitely a, a huge influence in terms of just being surrounded by music. And my mom's no different. I mean, she sings with her choir at her church still to this day. She always has. Uh, and so since she raised me in the church, I always got to, to experience that. So I was always surrounded by music from a very young age. When I write music, I write music for myself quite a bit, but at the same time, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll write songs for other people, or just when I see that a group of friends that I might be hanging around with is going through a specific season in their lives, um, it might just be on my heart to write for them. Uh, but I will say that when you listen to my CDs, for example, Rearranged and uh, another record that's coming out soon called Sound, um, they're very indicative of what season that I currently am in as well. Um, so you can really tell just kind of what I'm going through when you listen to my music. Um, but at the same time, I do write songs for other people. One thing I think is kind of cool in that when I write a lot of music for myself, I'm creating almost like song capsules where I'll listen to a song and remember exactly where I was mentally and emotionally and spiritually even at the point in time where I wrote that song. In late 2012, I wrote a song called Love Will Find Me. Uh, this kind of goes back to what we were talking about before, just about how a lot of times I'll write music that speaks to the season of life that I am currently in. And uh, I would say that for the first extended period of time in my adult life, I've been single. And I feel like I've made bad decisions in the past. I've made good decisions too, but they weren't decisions based on doing the right thing. It was basically the first person that was interested in going out, let's do this, let's, let's, let's go. And, and I never was really complete or satisfied on my own. And I think it was because I was trying to fill that emptiness inside me with something other than God and basically humans or something that is based off of humanness and that will always fail you. And so I'm taking a completely new approach to being single. And I think when sort of that light bulb went off in my head about the way that I should be, at least the way that I felt like I was called to be, I wanted to write a song about it. And so I'll, I know now, and I, I believe this every day, and so I'm not worried anymore about constantly being on the lookout for that person I'm supposed to be with. I feel like God's not going to let me miss my person, and so I shouldn't be looking for love. And that's the hook of the song. It's, I won't be looking for love, it'll find me. Uh, and so that's what love will find me is about. Love Will Find Me is actually available for free on my website at uh, mattadlermusic.com.